Hey, what's up guys? Lincoln right here, and I'm gonna take you quickly through how I thin lacquer paints for airbrush use. Really quick preamble on a new idea. I'd like to share with you a what's in my box series. Along with the longer form tutorials that I'm producing for you that are very project specific, I'd like to make these shorter ones for you that are tips, hacks, and short tutorials on what I'm using and how I'm using it. Today is a very quick share on thinning Mr. Color and Gaia Notes lacquer paints for airbrush use. I want to show you how to save time, so setting up your workspace and some hacks to make your workflow move very quickly, and saving money. As you will see, lacquer paints for airbrush use are mostly thinner, and thin is actually pretty cheap. Also, a really quick shout out to the Paint on Plastic Patreon team, the people who are making this content happen for you. I'd like to welcome Jeremy, Henry, and Milo, as well as thank Johannes and uh, Alex for bumping up your pledges. Thanks guys. I know you guys are loving the behind the scenes and additional content that I'm sharing with you. Thank you very much for the amazingly positive feedback. I know we're getting this right. Last thing, there's a link below for the new shirt as chosen by the Paint on Plastic Facebook group if you'd like to represent. Okay, let's go. Okay, first off, let's go with thinning Mr. Color paint. Now they're slightly different. Uh, first off, we'll need some Mr. Color paint and uh, I like to use a paint stirrer. I've got this one from Wave. It's one of my favorite versions I've used and uh, a small bottle here, a spare bottle. Uh, this one happens to be produced by the Gaia Notes people. I quite like it. It's got that extra uh, seal at the top and I'll be using uh, leveling thinner here. The bottle is, uh, is uh, Mr. Color, but it's actually from, uh, from Gaia Notes. Inside here you can see uh, with the pin vise, I've drilled in some 1.5 millimeter holes, and that's to make a custom shaker bottle. Uh, having a custom way, having a way to, to easily put in the thinner like this is key to improving your workflow. It will save you a lot of time, and it also it, uh, protects you from uh, the, the fumes. The fumes in this case are not particularly volatile because they're still uh, they're heavy, they're not atomized, but uh, dealing with smell and different things like that is just a lot easier. Then using my uh, paint stirrer, give it a very good stir. Make sure you get the stuff from the bottom. For lack of paints to, uh, to, uh, to perform correctly, you really ma make sure to get a proper full mix. Uh, Mr. Color tend to uh, mix more quickly than Gaia. Uh, which is which is pretty nifty. Now you can see I put on a little bit of tape on the side. The um, now very clearly. Thank you for putting it back in shot link. Very quickly, what I do is I half I, I eyeball halfway up from the thinner. So I put in one part thinner, then I tape the bottle for another fifty percent of volume up, and that's how much paint I put in for Mr. Color. Very simple, very foolproof. It's quite thin. Uh, it's not a very thick one, but you'll see in my usage in the next video why I've gone with that uh, that mix and that level of opacity. I give it another stir straight away. Uh, that both cleans up your paint stirrer and it helps to judge. You've got to make sure and learn the kind of uh, thicknesses of paint that you'll be putting through your airbrush. People always talk about uh, making it look like milk. This helps. Have a look at how much is stuck to the side of the glass and you'll learn over time how that works. Super useful. Um, it's really a hyper important skill to have when you're gonna be airbrushing a lot of models. Here I'm showing that it's really important to clean off the lip uh, so that they make a good seal and that will protect your paint investment over time. Next, let's work with Gaia Notes paints. Now, I know uh, from a, you know, in a friendly way, I know a lot of the top painters and professionals in the world and all of them, all of them will say to me, uh, even the ones that have their own paint lines, um, these guys say to me that Gaia Notes are hands down the best paints in the world. They're just a little bit difficult to get. Uh, they're a little slightly, ever so slightly uh, different to work with. Um, and they do smell, uh, personally, I find the smell a little bit stronger than Mr. Color. Um, and it's a trade-off for their performance. Their performance is just magical. Now I find they're a slightly more opaque paint. Uh, it depends on the color, etc. But this one in particular, Sunshine Yellow, is one of the most powerful, brilliant yellows I, I've yet to use in a paint brand. I wanted to show you a little bit more in depth here, if you guys were interested in it. It's difficult with Parallax Error to, to, to actually get it in shot, but um, I had to clean it off there because it won't stick to the, the lacquer thinner, the tape, the, the tape. So there it is. I put in one part of thinner. 
Uh, it's not important how much, just you know, you eyeball it for about how much you, you'll think you're going to use. Then, approximately uh, another 50% of that up market so that you don't forget as you start pouring the paint in how much you need to put in. Now, I went with exactly the same ratio this time as the Mr. Color, but when you deal with Gaia Notes paints, that will give me a much more opaque finish. And again, this will be more clear why I did this uh, in the next video when I show you uh, how I put this on the model. Now, why is this important? It's, it's super important to know how the different opacities and mixes will, will uh, affect the outcome of your model. Uh, if you're always using uh, pre-mixed paints, somebody else is doing this work for you, you won't know, you won't learn how to, uh, you know, augment, how to adjust the finish of your models. Yes, it's easy, but you're uh, deprived of that learning experience. And as you can see, I've gone through two mixes here. It's very, very simple to do. And as soon as you start doing it, you'll learn. You'll learn so much about uh, paints, how they work. Uh, people often ask me, uh, do, does thinning uh, produce a, a less uh, opaque paint, etc.? All of those questions will quickly be answered for you within the first two or three tries. Uh, as, you, as you test and do a couple of different versions, you'll become an expert on painting uh, in a very quick period of time. So it's definitely worth the investment. It's a little bit of time, uh, it's a couple of extra bottles, it's a little bit of thinner that you probably have anyway, but yeah, uh, it, it will really pay dividends in your model painting career, guaranteed. Now here's a close up, I thought, you know, I wanted to show this one too. Um, you can see how powerful and pigmented this uh, yellow is from Gaia. I, I use the word magical, it really is. See how it's sticking to the stirrer there? I both look at how it goes on the glass and how it sticks to the stirrer. I know that's going to be a perfect airbrush paint now. Now, here's the uh, the results for me. This took me, including setting up my camera to capture this this footage for you, this took me about 10 minutes of work. Um, and, and it's fun too, I quite like it. But yeah, it took me about 10 minutes and I've made three custom bottles that will really speed up my process. Once I get started uh, on, on airbrushing the, uh, the, the, the kit, having these already set up means I can just speed through and I know exactly what I'm getting uh, in each of them and I prepared it for my three steps so um, it I'll show that again uh, third time I'm going to mention this I'll be showing that in the next video and you'll see how uh, that really benefited me for this uh, for this next tutorial look at that so much yellow hey do you like Warhammer 40k so do we we're doing a group build in the paint on plastic Facebook group link in the comments below come check it out I fill my toolbox locally. I support local and I get my kits, tools and paints from Hobbyco in Sydney. And they do free shipping with orders over 50 bucks. It's a really good deal. Extra big special thanks to my Paint on Plastic co-producers. Ivan, MB, Grant, Con, Jack, Alex, Simon, Robert, MC, Kelso and Kevin. Sincerely appreciate you guys. Big shout out to the Paint on Plastic supporter community who helped make all of this stuff happen. I couldn't be doing it without you artists supporting this artist. Thank you very much guys. Sincerely. Mm -hmm.